what we're now going to do we're now going to bring in one of the metal shafts which is what will drive the, the wheel on the motor choose place and locate from the list a 4 inch shaft open and again we're going to place two of these click OK and we're also going to place from this folder a pair of shaft collars so again bring two of those in select OK to begin with we're going to locate the collars to the holes so select constrain insert option and again the bottom surface and the center line to the top surface of this wheel and the center line repeat that process again constrain insert and now we have our collars in place if we now just resize out what we're now going to do is fit these shafts into position now inside the wheel there is a square hole to which we can fit this um, so first of all what we're going to do is choose constrain we're going to choose the mate option and first of all we're going to choose the top surface of the shaft and the top surface of this collar we can flip that over using the flush button on the pop-up so they sit flush to one another if I can just drag this to one side you can see now these will sit flush to one another and what we're going to now do is we're now going to constrain two further positions so it's constrained in an X, Y and a Z and we're going to use the inside of the wheel to do this so again choose constrain mate we'll choose this inside surface here and we'll just rotate around using the view cube to this surface here and as we can see we should now still be able to move it in one direction and lastly we're going to choose to constrain using a mate option the top edge and if we just rotate the wheel underneath uh, this bottom edge here now this shaft should now be locked in place and as the wheel turns it will rotate with the wheel so let's now repeat that process so again constrain mate top surface of the shaft onto the collar we're going to flip that over so they lie flush as you can see there it is and we're now going to choose to do two more mates just rotate round to that position so we'll start with first constraint and mate surface from that surface on the shaft to this surface inside the wheel click OK and we should see it should still move around and then constrain the top of the shaft with a mate to match the corresponding top surface inside the hole and select OK what we now have are the, the shafts attached to the wheels so we can start to see how we're going to create some very slick uh, animated motion what we can now do is choose place and going into the structure folder we're going to bring ourselves another 16 hole chassis so select open and with this what we're going to do is add two constraints just to lock it into the rough position but without a third constraint so there should still be some movement so we're going to choose constraint choose the mate option and we're going to choose the top surface to the top surface of the corresponding chassis make sure they are flush so that's okay so we can now see that's constrained in one direction we're now going to choose to constrain this edge here to this edge here and again we're going to choose flush so you can now see what we've got is we've got this chassis here which can now move up and down the shaft but is not fully constrained in place so it can still move this is a good position to be in for later on when we start to build on the, the metal frame